Oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, This time, you've gone too far, Dennis. It was only a water bomb, Dad. I was just having a bit of fun, and Sergeant Slipper got in the way. Fun? It's time you learned that you can have fun without being a menace. Impossible! You really have to start learning how to act more grown-up, Dennis. Who, me? <laughs> yes, and lesson one starts with you helping out at my old class reunion party at Beano Town School today. School? At the weekend? Not another word, Dennis. It'll do you good to see how well grown-ups behave. But school? Grown-ups? Oh, can things get any worse? I had to ask, do you have to dress up like that? It's on the invitation. Everyone has to wear traditional school uniform. My two boys off to school together. I'm so proud. That'll be the rest of the gang. The gang? Why didn't you say Pie Face and Curly were coming too? Hello, Dennis. Is your dad in? Come in, boys. Have fun. Oh. Come on, Nasha. I can't face this without you. Are you enjoying meeting all of Daddy's school friends, Walter? Oh, yes, Father. Everyone has been simply lovely. <laughs> Until now. We're here, boys. Ah, uh -huh, good. Dennis, what are you doing here? Dad made me come. What's your excuse? I thought I'd help Father make this a memorable reunion. That's the attitude. You could learn a thing or two from this lad, Dennis. Yeah, like how to be really boring. Hey, I thought the invite said school uniform only. That's odd. None of these other invites mention anything about... No, there must have been a mix-up at the printers. <laughs> mix-up at the printers. <laughs> That's a great... Hey. I smell a rat, Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Dad's been set up. <laughs> <laughs> I should have known old soppy socks would try to make us look bad. Well, what are you going to do about it? Do? You can't let that sneaky swap get away with it. You have to get even. Nonsense. We're adults, not children. <laughs> That's taking the retro look too far. <laughs> I know. I guess some people just never grew up. Sad, really. You're not going to let him get away with that, are you, Dad? You, I, you, no, I am not. If he can play silly schoolboy tricks, so can we. Just this once, mind. Brilliant. Oh, oh for, for fun. fun. And fun for all. <laughs> Just like old times. I get the feeling this lot are going to need our help, Masha. Five, six. This is the spot, boys. I hope it's still in there. <laughs> Bingo! Our secret school war chest. <laughs> Stink bombs. Itching powder. Launcher rackets. And these! One of my better inventions. With the emphasis on the boom. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Just a little something I knocked up in detention. I mean, chemistry. <laughs> OK, fellas. We've got launcher rackets. All we need now is something to launch. That's where I can help out. Great. They'll do nicely. I'll pretend I didn't see that. OK, gang, let's go to work. Looks like Dad's changed his mind about water bombs, Nasha. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> OK, let's have a picture of your wonderful teacher, Mrs Creature, and myself to remind us of our reunion ball. Ready? Steady? Fire! <laughs> Dude, maybe we should try that again, son. I seem to have something in my eye. Oh, bullseye! <laughs> 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 
I think that's us all square now, gentlemen. You're all squares if you stop now. There's no need to cause more trouble, Dennis. It's job done and time to enjoy the party. Right, fellas? Um, yeah, let's get down there before that lot scoff all the grub, eh? But... Uh, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, when you were at school together, was Dennis's father really voted most popular student every year? Yes, but I've made sure he'll not win this time. This time, it's my turn. That's not fair. We've got to do something, Nasha. All right. The time has arrived for everyone to vote for the reunion's most popular student. Congratulations, Father. Not yet, Walter. Make sure you judge your choice on their manners. Ready? Their intelligence. <laughs> Aim. And, of course, their style. Fire! <laughs> Wait a minute. I recognise those. Boomerang Bullseye! Dennis! Put my boomerangs back. Uh, your boomerangs? I should have known you'd be behind all this. Like father, like son. Come here at once. Me? No way! Dad didn't do it. I'm sorry, Mrs. Creature. It's all my fault. If I'd behaved more like a grown-up than a menace, none of this would have happened. Far too late for apologies, I'm afraid. You've behaved so badly, I'm going to have to call your mother. Oh, no, not my mother. Come on, Nasha. It's time to prove who the real menace is around here. Serious? He's been causing havoc at his old school, throwing water bombs, cakes. My boy? Oh, it's a mess. Are you sure you don't mean Dennis? <laughs> OK, I'm on my way. This I've got to see. Your mother is coming to take you home, young man. Leaving the rest of us to enjoy the party without any more... Mother! Gotcha! Dennis! Stop that boy! Ha 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 We have him now. That's the only way in or out. There's no escape this time. You were saying? Naughty boy. <gasps> Mrs. Creature, what have you done? Dennis? Oh, I get it now. My grandson's arranged this rules to get me here for a pie fight! <gasps> what fun? I'd like to ask you all for a show of hands to vote on this year's most popular student before things fall into total chaos. I vote for you, Father. I vote for my gran. The fun didn't start till she arrived. The yes, that's right. 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 That's it's a shame you lost out on the trophy. Yeah, at least Soppy Socks lost out too, though, eh? And we've kept it in the family. With a little help from you. And you. Oh, and Gran. Talking of which, let's go party! All oh, for fun and fun for all!
Wait, Nasha. You asked for it. Fetch! This! <laughs> A big, mean-looking fish. Oh, are we going fishing? Kind of. But if it was that easy, somebody else would have caught it by now. So what are we going to do, Dennis? Listen and learn, Curly. Listen and learn. What are you lot up to? We're going to catch a fish. Not any old fish. The legendary pike of Beano Town Lake. Yeah, the legendary pike. Uh, pike. Legendary pike, eh? Walter, how does it feel to be the man who caught the legendary pike of Beano Town Lake? I just want to help science in any way I can. <laughs> When the pike comes to the edge of the lake, I'm going to tickle it like this. <laughs> Fish love it. It hypnotises them or something. I saw this man do it on TV. <laughs> and how are we going to get the pike over here? Here's the genius part. I've borrowed the fishmonger's sign and a bit of mum's makeup and. Ta da! A lovely ladyfish. Have I overdone the lipstick? Here, fishy. Kissy, kissy. Here it comes. I thought the monster fish of Town Lake was just a legend. Me too, Bertie. But Dennis claims to have seen it. We can't let that menace catch it. Exactly, Dudley. If anyone catches that fish, it's going to be me. I shall become famous as the boy who caught the legendary monster. <laughs> If this gullnet can stop a cannonball kick, 
It should be strong enough to hold a pike. What are we going to use as bait? A clothes peg? Oh, not that. These! The what? The stinky old fish? Very old, very stinky. <laughs> right then, Nasha. You swim out there with the fish and we'll throw the net over the pike when he appears. <laughs> Go on, boy! Off it, Curly. It's only a fish. Actually, I'm impressed. You know, it could be one of us. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that music coming from? Oh, no. Keep it up, chaps. Your soothing music will send the fish to sleep. And then... <coughs> hey, presto! The pike will be my ticket to fame and fortune. Fame and fortune? What's he talking about, Den? I reckon Walter's planning to put the pike on show. In an exhibition or something. Oh, no, that'll be terrible. Everyone gawping at him. I know, Curly. We've got to stop him. And I think I know the way to do it. Come to me, my fishy friend. <laughs> oh, ha! Here he comes. Uh, keep playing, boys. This is one drowsy fish. Uh, okay. Uh, hold steady. Uh, heave! Uh, What is that? You wouldn't want that in your exhibition. <laughs> here, over here. Here's your legendary pike. Come and get her. <laughs> hey, that's not a pike. It's not even a real fish. We've been tricked. <laughs> you bosser! We thought there really was a fish. I knew it was too good to be true. I'm going to tell the fishmonger you took his sign. <sighs> the legendary pike of Beano Town Lake can remain a legend. Come on, lads! <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm glad we didn't catch him. <laughs> Bees 
nappy cream, Dad's greasy hair oil, and Mum's silky face cream. Time to test out my latest gold fast oil, Nasha. This, Dennis. Uh oh! Time for some amateur dramatics, Nasha. <laughs> Wait until I tell your father. Mmm, pizza would be great, Mum. What? What? What's Dennis been up to now, Sergeant Slipper? Well, he uh, he, uh, he, uh, he ran over my Wolf. foot and. Uh... Nasha, you know Dad doesn't like you eating out of his hat. What are you talking about, Dennis? Hmm. You know, he might have had a bit of a bump on the head. You think? Uh, maybe you should, uh, well, you should take him to the hospital for a once-over. Yes. Well, I suppose I'd better. Looks like we buffed our way out of trouble again, Nasha. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, not you, Nasha. Pets aren't allowed in hospital. Nasha! So, what do you think's wrong with Dennis, Doctor? Hmm, his uh, odd behaviour could be due to his fall. It had better be. Hmm. Oh, this place is no fun. I wish Nasha was here. <laughs> Nasha! Oops! I could have sworn I... Let's get Dennis to the X-ray department. A quick scan should confirm what's going on up there. Hey, watch it! I'm not well, Mum. So, how is Dennis, Doctor? Hmm. Extraordinary. It appears your son has swallowed a dog. Nasha! <coughs> Come away, Nasha. The Doctor says Dennis needs total rest. No, I just need to go home. Well, out of the question, I'm afraid. We need to keep Dennis overnight for observation. Overnight? But, but... That's fine, Doctor. Dad! You heard what the Doctor said, Dennis. Come on, Nasha. Time to get you home. <laughs> now, the rules of my ward are no pets, no chocolate, no TV, no computer games and no... Fun! This place is worse than school. No complaining. You're here to get better, not to have fun. Hi, Dennis. What? Walter? Do you know Walter? Yeah, unfortunately. Well, he's quite the star in our hospital radio. Yes, I'm their best volunteer DJ. Tune in to Walter's radio marathon tonight. It's going to be jazz-tastic. Ciao. Oh, why didn't I just fess up and take the punishment? It couldn't have been worse than being stuck in here with DJ Walter. Now, Dennis. If you need anything, just buzz this buzzer and I'll come running. You will? Cool. Yes? Could I have some water, please? Certainly. Could you pass me a comic? What about your water? Could you... <laughs> anything else you'd like me to do before I buzz off? No, thank you. I 
I hate this hospital! <laughs> oh, hang on. Meatballs, my favourite. Here you are, Walter. Let you keep you topped up for your radio show tonight. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Shame there's only steamed cabbage left. <laughs> Catch you later, listeners. Nasha, good to see you. <laughs> Quick, hide. Can I go home now, Doc? No, I'm afraid you aren't going anywhere for 24 hours. But there's nothing wrong with... That is, I feel much better. Honest. Rest is what you need, and rest is what you will get. No, I need to go home. Mum and Dad will be missing me. Oh, it's so peaceful without Dennis under our feet. I've told your mother and father that you'll be under observation until we see a real improvement. Improvement? Him? <laughs> Sounds like you'll be in here a while, Dennis. <laughs> That's it! We're breaking out of here now! Hey, you! Stop! No dogs allowed! Oops! Time to go, Nasha! Stop! fit into that. You don't need to. It's a bed bath. A what? But, but, I had a bath last month. Wait! I... Whoa! Oh, that's... Freezing! No dogs allowed. Yes, though he is still very tired, he'll need much more rest. Oh, you could say that again. <laughs> Check this 
out. Looks like nasha has got a famous twin. <laughs> if only, if Nasha was a celebrity, he could get us into the Rat Bucket gig tomorrow night. I still think we should ask Athena to get us some tickets. Look, Athena, the latest issues. Oh, my gosh, let me see. Yeah, she is Rat's only kid after all. No way. Athena wouldn't give us the time of day, especially if you go round swiping her mags. it back, Miss Athena. Hmm. Weird-looking creature, if you ask me. Still, fashion is fashion. <laughs> At last. Yes, the dog is an Abyssinian wirehead tripe hound. Rare? I should hope so, too. No, I don't care what it costs. It's the number one fashion accessory with the in crowd. So get me in or you'll be out permanently. You know what? I reckon Nasha might help us get into the gig after all. Yeah? How? Listen and learn, pie face. Better get going. I've got to feed my Abyssinian wire-haired tripe hound. Wait a minute. I remember that horrible mutt of his. Can it be? It can't be. It is! It's a tripe hound! Stop him, sugar! Hey! Come back! Yeah? What's up? <sighs> Miss Athena wants your dog. How much? Name your price! Sorry, girls. Nasha's not for sale. Nasha? Ugh. That name will have to go. Make a note, sugar. Change name of dog. No need. Like I said, Nasha's not for sale. At any price. There you go. <laughs> hmm. We'll see about that. Everyone has their price, even Dennis. Hey! What the... Wow! Is that what I think it is? The Super Curl 3000 with built-in surround sound and full remote control. Cool. Direction finding system as standard. Do left hand 180 at the bottom of the drive for the skate park. Wow. And of course it has 360 remote control tail spin ability. <laughs> that totally rocks! edition, of course. But you can have it in exchange for the dog. Hmm. Uh, no thanks. It would take more than a skateboard to break up Nasher and me. Hmm. Apart from his dog and his skateboard, what else does Dennis love? Astronomy, bees, hang gliding. No sugar, music. Especially guitars. Rock on! Who's making that rocket? It's Athena! With a rat bucket triple neck! The coolest guitar in the world! I want to trade Dad's guitar for... Let me guess. Me dog. Yes. I may not be the best guitarist on the planet, but you could be with a guitar like this. Nah. I prefer a single neck axe. No deal. Oh, really? Well, let's see what the dog thinks, shall we? Sugar, the chart. <sighs> Listen up, dog. This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer. Never to be repeated. Come with me and it's a first-class lifestyle. With a luxury penthouse kennel. A private chef. Mountains of luxury hand-rolled sausages. All for you. <laughs> well, do we have a deal? <laughs> OK, then. You got me. It's a deal. 
Yes! Come along, sugar, and bring the hound. And you can give me her to the dog's home. <laughs> Don't worry, Pie Face. All will be revealed. <laughs> we'll be seeing Nasha again soon. And we'll be getting Rat Bucket tickets. Really? Trust me. Oh, oh stop it! Oh, oh, oh. into a full-on fashionista. Oh, can Pamper Betts help you today, madame? Mm? Nails, please. Mm, I think we're talking industrial pedicure, madame. I'm going in. Some nail! And that was some bag! <sighs> Onwards! <laughs> That's the way, Nasha. Where is that waiter with our lunch? I'm ravenous! Madame, Monsieur, your order! Spaghetti and meatballs! Enjoy! Mmm, meatballs! My favourite! <laughs> Paldo, I think Monsieur missed a bit. Ah! Now look what he's done! My new outfit's ruined! Sugar, come. Let's get this creature home before he embarrasses me anymore! <laughs> Believe me, he's only just getting started. <sighs> well, only seconds to go before midnight. All being well, Nasha should be here just about now. Here, take him. Your dog's a menace. He's eaten my best face cream, totally trashed my room, chewed up all my clothes and scared Daddy's guard dog's witless! Sorry, no can do. He's all yours now. What? No! Tripe hands are so yesterday. Sorry. No, wait! Wait! There must be something. The guitar, the skateboard, you can have them all. Sugar? Well, I don't know. A deal's a deal. What else do you want? Hmm, I know. How about tickets for the gig? Tickets, you say? Hmm, might be nice. No problem. Sugar, give in the tickets. As many as you want. Anything. Just say you'll take this monster back. What do you think, Nasha? Do you want to come back? <laughs> We have a deal. Deal. Yes. Make a note, sugar. Tripe pounds are out. Permanently. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're off to see Rat Bucket after all, Nasha. Thanks to you. Result. Hey, wait a minute. These are tickets for last year's gig. Athena. Okay, Nasha. Almost ready for the big launch. Huh? 
me. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its mission to seek out strange new softies and menace them to boldly go where no mutt has gone before. There's only enough power in the elastic to send one small Abyssinian tripound into orbit. Oh. Good luck, Nasher old chum. Happy landings! Oh. Awesome! So every one of us must pull together in an effort to recycle and find new ways to create alternative sources of energy. Let us make Beano Town Greeno Town! The Mayor is absolutely right. Yes, we all need to do our bit to save the planet. I shall be moving amongst you, looking for the most eco-friendly, energy-saving citizen in Beano Town! Uh-oh! What's happened to the TV? It's simply super, Walter. Entertaining and energy efficient. This will make everybody sit up and take notice. <laughs> you maniac! Look what you've done! Keep your hair on, Walter. I was just testing out my new rocket. That's not a rocket. It's a... a, a rotten refuse receptacle. You've completely wrecked my beautiful wind-powered water feature. Wind-powered, did you say? Hmm. Wind-power could be the very thing I need to launch me Denterprise Mark II. Well, if you're sure you want to give me her lunch, that's very helpful of you, Dennis. Forget Mum's homemade parsnip puree. What you need, be is big beans! <laughs> are good for the heart and help to make me rocket start. Eat up, B. Mm. I don't get it, Jen. What's the plan? It's very simple, Curly. I'm experimenting with new sources of energy. Have you never heard of wind power? Fascinating. I shall have to keep an eye on this young man. OK. Let's get this rocket off the ground. Was that the mayor I just saw? I'm very keen to show him my wind-powered water feature. I had to rebuild it, all thanks to you, Dennis. Walter, look, your foot. Ah, uh -huh. you noticed my new homemade eco-trainers. <laughs> That idea. Where am I going to find another new source of energy for me rocket? Ah, 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 ah yes. Oh, not only am I getting fit, I'm, I'm, I'm providing all the energy for every electrical device in the house. Oh. Pedal power. Nice one, Dad. Ah, 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 oh. Nasha, after I launch Enterprise 2, you'll be heading for the stars. Huh? This is the way forward, Nasha. Pedal power! Pedal power? This boy is a shining beacon of energy efficient excellence. I spoke too soon. Well, Nasha, looks like we'll have to put your first space flight on the back burner. <sighs> Wait till the mayor sees this lot. He'll be over the moon. Unlike you, Nasha. <laughs> oh, yes. This compost is going to make me a household name. <laughs> what a whiff. Remove your nose immediately, Dennis.
business. I do not wish to contaminate my precious cargo. A barrel load of mouldy cabbage leaves and rotting apple cores? Not for very much longer. All this biodegradable material is soon to be fermented and recycled into biofuel to power my new eco-friendly combined cuckoo clock and cocoa maker. Biofuel what? You mean you can make fuel from stinky old fruit and veg? Indubitably. Any fuel knows that. <laughs> Excellent. Just what I need for the next phase of my menacing mission to Mars. Thank you. I'll take that. Thanks. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> nice one. What the...? <laughs> it's that boy again. Incredible. He never stops. Now, what's that nitwit up to? OK, Nasha. Time to turn bruised beetroot and battered broccoli into biofuel. <laughs> With all this power, we'll be able to launch the whole shed into space. <laughs> Keep shoveling, Nasha. We need more energy. <laughs> Dennis, are you sure? Absolutely positive. I've been following his activities very closely. What a splendid eco-friendly example to all the young folk of Beano Town. It's not possible, is it? I have decided to award your son the town's highest honour, the Legion de Compost, for all his services to recycling and energy conservation. Dennis, the metal... I must be dreaming! So, where is uh, the hero of the hour? Well, I, I, I think he's out the back, in the shed. OK. Helmet's on. <laughs> this is going to be awesome! Prepare for ignition and blast off! Oh, what? Who's that? Congratulations, young man! Uh, what? As Mayor of Beano Town, I would like to thank you for all your hard work and devotion to the cause of recycling and energy conservation. Oh, hooray! But, but, Mr Mayor, I protest. What about my wind-powered water feature? And my... Shush, Walter. Uh, great. Thanks. Gotta go! <laughs> Anxious to get back to your work, eh? But first, the presentation. No, but I need to... Oh! <laughs> and so, it gives me great pleasure to award you, Dennis, this special medal, which, naturally, has been recycled from old milk bottle tops and tin well done, good Dennis! Lad, good, good lad! Uh, thanks, great. Goodbye! <laughs> He's so modest, isn't he? We must have a photograph now. And you're not to stop working until you've cleaned up every inch of the town! Great. Instead of sweeping across the universe, I'm stuck here sweeping up the street. Ah, Dennis, since you're so fond of recycling, you'll be glad to hear that I'm recycling your pocket money for the next five years to pay for all the damage you've caused. Oh! Well, at least it can't get any worse. Oh, dear, Dennis. Talk about coming down to earth with a bump. <laughs> <laughs> Walter, that's what I call coming down to earth with a bump. Welcome home, boy. You're the world's first astronaut. <laughs> <laughs>